A good Sunday afternoon from the Uniplex in Dieppe, New Brunswick. It's the NBIAA Girls Provincial Championship Final between the LJR Patriots out of Shediac, New Brunswick, and the St. Malachy's Memorial High School Saints out of St. John, New Brunswick. We are now underway. Uh, LJR in the white uniforms, the visiting team this afternoon, and St. Malachy's, the home team, this afternoon. Puck dumped back out into the neutral zone. As St. Max will send it down into LJR territory. That's Valerie Boisvert playing it up to the open wing. That was an errant pass, and St. Max will dump it back just inside the Patriots line. Another long errant pass broken up at the at St. Max line. Back the other way through the neutral zone, having the puck bounced off her stick was Laura Cartwright. And St. Max dumping it in. It hits off the referee, and it's just barely at the top of the circle. And here's St. Max now with an opportunity, throwing it out in front of the net. Pass bounces off a couple of skates, and LJR will start back the other way through the neutral zone. It's Taylor Beal. She'll dump it down into the corner and chase it for herself. Throws it out off the side of that right in front. Here's out the shot out in the slot, and that shot gets blocked. LJR dumping it in behind the St. Max goal. And the Saints will wrap it around onto the near side. Kept in at the line by Lamberton. Puck down in down below the goal line, and it'll be St. Max coming up with it. That's Laura Cartwright sending it up onto the near side. Kristen Alderman will just kick it out into the neutral zone. In over the line now comes the Saints. They'll just dump it in, and they'll make wholesale changes. Over on the far side, Ashley Morris. She'll play it up through the neutral zone for Miriam Richard. In over the line, she has it poked off her stick, and it goes down into the near corner. St. Max tried to wrap it around. That was broken up. Puck comes right back out in front of the net, but the Saints were there to clear it away from harm's way. Puck bouncing around out into the neutral zone, and they'll, LJR will pick it up and dump it back in. 12.55 to go here in the opening period, the first of three 15-minute periods. An errant pass bounces off the wall. This will go all the way down, and it'll make its way to Zola Blanc. We'll play it over onto the near side for Janie Bork, who wraps it around the boards. Kept in, though, however, by the Saints. Bork once again with another opportunity on the near side. She'll play it off the wall, and it'll roll all the way down into St. Max territory. Playing it off the wall is Macy Hatfield, but she wasn't able to get it out. Collision just at the top of the circle. Here's an opportunity. Shot right on. Coming off the stick of Janelle Lebert. And I do believe that is Anna White actually in goal. Numbers are a little bit different compared to what we have here on our uh, roster sheets. 12.21 to go here in the opening period. Both teams with a shot on goal. Face off to the right of the St. Max goal. Bork at the near point. She'll play it along the wall. And that's broken up there by St. Max. Groot sends it up to the middle of the ice. Pass there, broken up in the high slot area in LJR territory. The puck, however, goes back behind the Patriots' goal. On the near side is Janelle Hebert. She's unable to get it out. Puck out into the slot. There's a shot right on. And LeBlanc with the save. Puck bouncing around. And LJR is able to come up with it. 
almost turned it around, turned it over in their own zone. Actually, St. Max with the pressure on the four check, keeping it in only momentarily, however, down the right side. Getting it into St. Max territory was Beal, but she had it taken away from her. Back the other way now come the Saints in over the line. There's a shot right on. Zola Blanc with the save. And she'll hang on. 11.28 to go here in the opening period. Still scoreless between the Patriot de Louis Girobichot out of Shediac, New Brunswick. And St. Malachy's Memorial High School Saints out of St. John. Again, the provincial final here in the NBIAA. Right off the draw. There's a shot from LeBlanc. Gets blocked. It's along the near wall. St. Max with the puck down in the corner. Playing it towards the front of the net. That was broken up by LJR. Puck bouncing around into the feet. Along the side of the goal, they score! A fortuitous bounce on the side of the goal for St. Max. And the Saints have themselves a 1-0 lead. Three minutes and 47 seconds into the first period. There's a bit of a mad scramble at the side of the LJR goal. Puck was bouncing around and it just seemed to squeak by Zoe LeBlanc. An unfortunate break for LJR. Play back underway. Ashley Morrissey plays it up along the far side. Cammie Bork trying to dump it in. She's being Pestered there by two Saints. And St. Max will come up with it. Hatfield on the near side. Passes the puck off the wall. Broken up in the neutral zone there by LJR. Here's an opportunity. Bork with a shot. And that sails wide. The puck comes to the rest on the side of the net, but knocked off. LJR trying to come up with it. Poked off their stick and back the other way. Now come the Saints. And there's a errant trip in the high slot area, which allows LJR to come up with the puck. There's a uh, shot that was fanned on, and the Patriots unable to keep it in at the Saints line, but it comes over here onto the right side as Bork will dump it down deep, and the Patriots will make wholesale changes. Pass broken up, down and deep in the Saints corner. Pass coming out in front of the net from LJR, and that was broken up as well. LJR, however, keeping it in at the line, sending it back behind the goal. The puck will come back around the near side as Taylor Beal actually sees it, picks it up after she picked up her stick and keeping the puck down in deep. There's a shot right on, and the puck comes out into the near slot, and that rebound was cleared away. LJR with some pressure here. 9.45 to go. In the opening period, 1-0 St. Malachy's. Puck bouncing around at the... Left side of the goal, Algier trying to pass it out front. Pass broken up. Pass will come back to the point now, however. And there's a shot coming off the stick. Uh, Valley Bovair, and that was broken up. Pass coming back right through the slot area. And Bork keeping it in at the line. Trying to play it over for Bovair, but that pass was errant. St. Max tried to send it back the other way, and that pass was broken up. But again, here comes Cartwright for St. Malachy's into the zone. Pass into the slot area was in behind the intended receiver. And LJR will come back the other way on a two-on-two. In over the line is Beal. Beal has it poked off her stick. And St. Max will pick it up and clear it and fire it over to the far side of the ice. LJR will chip it back up towards the red line, trying to dump it in. Puck bouncing around, so having a hard time controlling it on both sides. St. Max will play it back down into LJR territory. And the Patriots will just chop it up, chop it up on along the wall into the neutral zone. And St. Max will send it right back in to LJR territory. And LJR will send it right back out into the neutral zone. 8.35 to go here in the opening period. St. Max now will just gain the red line and dump it in and play dump and chase. 1-0 St. Malachy's. Julie Bork for LJR, plays it up onto the right side for Abigail Metcalf. And she'll just dump it down inside St. Max territory. And that'll allow LJR to complete a line change. In the neutral zone now. Bork trying to chop it back into deep. But that was picked up there by St. Max and they'll play it back out into the neutral zone. LJR trying to skate up with it through the neutral zone. Trying to dump it in, hits off a couple of legs just inside. The Saints line and St. Max once again will clear it back out into the neutral zone and LJR will dump it right back into St. Max territory. 
7.45 to go. Again, a 1-0 St. Malachy's lead. Puck wrapped around the board. St. Max first on it. And you have it in behind the Patriots goal. Still controlling it. Nice job down deep there by the Saints. Keeping the puck in deep. Wrapped around the side near boards. Bork picks it up. Plays it out into the neutral zone and back the other way now comes Cammie Bork. Bork in over the line looking for some help, but everyone decided to go off on a change, so she'll just wrap it around the boards and she'll head off to complete the change. St. Max picks it up. They'll play it back out to the neutral zone. Lamberton plays it back inside the Saints line. Pass through the neutral zone is broken up. This is Taylor Beal trying to make her way in deep. She has it chopped off her stick, and the Saints will play it back out into neutral ice. Here's Lamberton on the near side. Plays it up the board for Beal, and that pass goes over her stick all the way down the ice. No icing. 6.35 to go now here in the opening period. Beal plays it back. Pass was just a little too far to the reach of Janelle Hebert. St. Max now back the other way. Cartwright in over the line. Two Saints collide together, but the puck stays on their stick. There's a shot right on, and LeBlanc with the save. Rebound cleared into the far corner. LJR can't get the puck out. Still bouncing around on the far side. Boisvert plays it around onto the near side, trying to get it out this way. Puck bouncing around. St. Max has it in the high slot. Cartwright plays it back to the point. Pass back down. Into the far corner, slowly coming out into the slot area. That was swatted away by LJR, and back the other way comes Abigail Metcalf. Metcalf in over the line. Has it poked off her stick. Puck still loose, however. Metcalf still giving chase, and it ends up back behind the Saints net where the Saints will clear it up along the far side, but LJR keeping it in just inside the line. But back the other way now comes the Saints. In over the line now. They'll have it swatted off their stick. And it'll be picked up there by LJR, and they'll just play it back out into the neutral zone. Five minutes, 20 seconds to go in the opening frame. A 1-0 St. Max lead. Cartwright has it poked off. Or excuse me, that was uh, LeBlanc has it poked off the stick. In over the line now is LeBlanc for St. Max down in the far corner. Gets rubbed out there by Beauvert down in behind the Patriots goal. St. Max with the puck, trying to wrap it around in front. That goes off the side of the goal. Bork on the near side now, starting out for LJR. Loses control of the puck just outside the line, and St. Max will play it back into LJR territory. Over on the far side, battle ensues for the loose puck, and it'll be LJR coming up with it. They'll get it into the neutral zone. On to the near side now for Bork. Bork in over the line, trying to play it out into the slot area, and that pass was broken up. St. Max controlling him behind their own goal, looking to break out. And they'll play it up onto the far side through the neutral zone now. St. Max trying to get in over the LJR line, broken up, and back the other way now comes the Patriot. Medium and shot, or excuse me, that is uh, Valerie Beauvert over on the far side. She loses control of the puck. St. Max will play it around onto the near side. Beal battling for it for LJR. And it's Martin for St. Max. He'll pick it up and fire it through the neutral zone and a potential two-on-one shaping up here for St. Max. And unable to keep control of the puck. St. Max loses it. Here comes an opportunity now for LJR. Two-on-one back the other way now. Here's Boisvert in onto the near side. There's a pass over to Jeannick Dupree. She fans on the shot. Beal plays it back to the point for Lamberton. And she can't get the shot through. And St. Max will get it back out at least as far as the neutral zone. They'll actually dump it down into LJR territory. And this is going to be an icing call against the St. Max Saints. 3.19 to go here in the opening frame. one nothing for St. Malachy's. The Saints in their home reds, LJR in their road whites. St. Malachy's going right to left. Face off is to the left of the St. Mike's goal, LJR controls. Janelle Hebert plays it back for Lamberton, back to Hebert, Hebert with a shot, right on. 
And that's turned aside. Just the third shot on goal for LJR. St. Max will gain the red line and dump it down into LJR territory. Alexis Lambertin along the wall. She'll pick it up and he'll, she'll play it up onto the near side. Janique Dupree unable to get it out. St. Max battling for it still. Cartwright gets tied up there in the slot area and that allows LJR to pick up the puck and get it down into neutral territory. A little bit of a collision just at the Patriots line. Back the other way now is LeBlanc. LeBlanc in with a shot right on and a nice save there by Zoe LeBlanc to keep it at one to nothing with 2.29 remaining here in the first period. Face off is scramble draw. LJR is able to get it back out into neutral territory. Back off to the wall. The Saints will dump it back into LJR territory in behind the Patriots net. LJR trying to play it up onto the near side. That was nearly broken up there. LJR able to get it back out into the neutral zone. And back the other way now is the Saints. Lauren Nordstrom down along the far side. Leaves the puck down into the corner. There's a trip and a delayed penalty here coming up to the Patriot de LJR with 1.52 to go here in the opening frame. So the latter stages of the first period. LJR taking a penalty in their own zone and allowing the Saint Malachy's Saints to go on to the power play. Face-off will be to the left of Zola LeBlanc. Draw one by LJR. And LJR will pick the puck up and they'll fire it all the way down the ice. Beal giving chase for LJR. And it's in behind the St. Max goal and the Saints will start out of their own zone. Here's LeBlanc. LeBlanc trying to push it through and that was broken up nicely there. At the line by Janelle Hebert. Bear now in for LJR, trying to get a shot off. Has it poked off her stick. In behind the St. Max goal. Back the other way now. Once again, LeBlanc for St. Max. Has it poked off her stick at the line. The Saints will just play it inside the LJR line. And LJR will play it back out into the neutral zone. But once again, here's an opportunity for Metcalf. Nice how she go and move by Metcalf. Metcalf trying to get the shot off and had her stick lifted at the very last second. Under a minute to go here in the opening period. 1-0 St. Malachy's with 56 seconds to go in the Saints power play. LJR playing it back inside the Saints line and St. Malachy's will start back the other way. Anna Hoyt plays it back towards the slot area and that's broken up by LJR and the Patriot will fire it down the ice once again. Probably gonna be one last rush here in the latter stages of the opening frame. Nice job there, three Saints battling against one LJR player. That being Janik Dupree and she was able to manage to freeze the puck along the lines and chewing off some more valuable time in the power play for St. Malachy's. 11.8 seconds to go here in the first. Shots on goal, six to four, favoring St. Max. Here comes the Saints in over the Patriots line with two seconds to go, and that's going to wrap up the opening 20 minutes. Here at the Uniplex Arena in Dieppe, New Brunswick, the championship final in the girls' division of the NBIAA. Seems to be a uh, good contingent of fans who made their way here from St. John.
So LJR to start the second period will have eight more seconds to kill off. On their penalty, Coach Samuel Richard down there just reassuring the troops that lots of time left. Kill off the last eight seconds and try to take some momentum. And on the other side, Natalie Duplessis of St. Max. Probably pleased with how that opening 20 minutes went for her Saints. So we'll see how both, see how the long changes affect both teams here in the second period. LJR going to be going right to left, St. Max left to right. Just having some issues here with the clock, trying to get the time back up on the scoreboard. So the weekend started out with four teams, two teams from the Northeast and two teams from the Southwest, the two teams from the Northeast, uh, the Vedette de, de Mathieu Martin and the Patriot de Louis Girobichot. And from the Southwest, you had uh, Oromocto High School Blues and uh, St. Malachy's Saints. So now they got the time back up on the scoreboard, but they, and now we're all set. They had 15 minutes in the third period left. Up there for a temporary moment. Back underway here for the second period as Puck bouncing around in the neutral zone. Team's now back at five aside. Ebert has a, pokes it off the Saints defender's stick for a moment, but it's picked up by St. Malachy's and they'll play it down into LJR territory. Beal starting out down the right side. Beal through the neutral zone now. In over the Saints line. Beal on the left side, in behind the net. Throws it out in front of the net. Comes all the way back to the point. There's a shot that sails wide of the Saints goal. St. Malachy's will wrap it around the wall, far side. Picking it up on the far side, however, is LJR. They'll play it back to the point. There's a shot there from... Jenik Bork that doesn't get all the way through. Bork with it once again. Plays it to the high slot. Metcalf over to LeBlanc. Passes it across for Jenik Dupuis. And she wasn't able to handle the pass. There's a weak shot that sails wide of the Saints goal. St. Malachy's trying to poke it out along the far side. But LJR is able to pick it up. Fire it back behind the Saints goal. As LJR will change up a couple of the forwards. Down deep. It's Miriam Nishah trying to play it out in front. Bounces back to the wall. Down to the far right point. And that's Johnny Bork keeping it in deep momentarily for LJR. St. Malachy's now through the neutral zone. Four Patriots are all over her. Here's Bork. Plays it off her stick. Plays it down into the far corner giving chase. There's a battle along the far wall which will be picked up there by LeBlanc for St. Malachy's. Through the neutral zone cutting across to the far left side of the ice. LJR will knock it off their, her stack and sweep it around onto the near side. Lexi Bork playing it back to her defenseman, and the defenseman will fire it down the ice, and this is going to actually make its way right onto the St. Max goaltender. Again, the numbers are a little different from what we have here, but I do believe that could possibly be uh, Anna Hoyt. Possibly. Goaltender's number is 30, and we don't have number 30 on the roster sheet here that we have in the broadcast booth. 12.50 to go here in period two. Still 1-0 for St. Malachy's. 
Puck bouncing around in the Saints high slot area and they'll swat it back out to the line and get it out into the neutral zone. Puck will go down into LJR territory and it's back to get it as Valerie Beauvert for LJR wrapping it around the boards on the far side. Cami Bork will get away from one check and get it out into the neutral zone. Olivia Bork trying to get it into St. Max territory and the It'll finally just squeak inside the line, and LJR keeping it in. Here's Olivia Bork. She'll sail a shot right in, and that's a blocker save there. And once again, we'll have another stoppage in play. 12.09 to go here in period number two. Face off to the right of the Saints goal. Scramble draw. Here's Beal for LJR on the left side in the left corner. Throwing it out into the high slot area. And that pass is intended for a bear. And that was, her stick was tied up. Right back out in front of the goal. And that was another opportunity. There's another shot right on. And once again, Puck bounces right through the, scre the uh, crease area. Beal now with it for LJR. Beal once again, she gets a weak shot off. And that'll sail wide of the goal. St. Max will pick it up. Can't get it. Well, they'll get it out into the neutral zone, but it'll be a bear picking it up. A bear actually overskated it at the Saints line. Back the other way now is St. Malik. He's in over the line. And a Hoyt in the near corner. Bouncing around. The puck will come near the front of the LJR goal, but that's picked up there by Ashley Morrissey, or excuse, yeah, excuse me, uh, Ashley Morrissey. This is Lauren Nordstrom in behind the goal. She loses it, and LJR will pick it up and fire it down the ice, and this will be an icing call. With 10.52 to go, I didn't actually hear the whistle go there for a moment. So 10.52 to go here in the opening, or excuse me, in the middle frame. Again, St. Malachy's with a 1-0 lead here in the championship game. Shots on goal, however, are now 8-6. So LJR with a early flurry in the second period. Scramble draw swatted away from the front of the LJR goal. Patriots turning it over down deep. LeBlanc lost her footing for St. Max. Allows LJR to play it around the near side, but or the far side, excuse me, but unable to get it out of their own zone. Pass towards the front of the net, that was broken up. Up into the high slot area and getting a stick on it just to get it out into the neutral zone is Abigail Metcalf. Saints will play it back inside the LJR line. Bork for LJR in behind her own goal. She'll start up the right side. She'll pass it there for Metcalf. Metcalf will just get it out into the neutral zone and the puck will just roll down inside St. Max territory. Janny Bork was giving chase for it. To Bork was all by herself and she threw it out into the high slot area as the rest of her crew were off on a line change. There's a dump in that'll go all the way down the ice and not quite make it across the line for an icing call. On the far side, LJR nearly turned it over. Actually, they do turn it over in behind their own goal, however. It is LeBlanc for St. Max, playing it back to the line. Macy Hatfield keeping it in, throwing it towards the front of the goal, puck bouncing around, and LJR will get it up. Bork will play it over for Lexi Bork. She'll turn it over at the Saints line, and back the other way is LeBlanc for St. Malachy's, and a delayed penalty, and a whistle is blown, and it's a body contact penalty coming up to LJR, and it's going to be Alexi Lamberton going off. 9.07 to go here in the second period, and it's the second power play opportunity for St. Max. Had a late power play opportunity in the opening period. And LJR is able to fire the puck off the boards and get it down into St. Max territory.
Here's LeBlanc playing over it and onto the far side. Trying to get it towards the front of the goal as Cartwright, that pass broken up. Down deep on the far side, Valerie Boisvert will play it up the line, but kept in nicely there by the Saints. Here's an opportunity in the high slot area, shot right on, and a nice save there by Zola LeBlanc. Coming off the stake, uh, stick, excuse me, of uh, Emma Kelter. Face off coming up to the left of the LJR goal. 8.31 now to go here in the second period. A minute 24 remaining in the LJR penalty to Cami Bork. And. St. Malachy's have actually called for a 30-second timeout here to try to get things organized on the power play. As I mentioned, still a minute and 24 to go in that power play. Shots on goal, 8-7, to seven, favoring LJR, but it is still a 1-0 St. Malachy's lead. Thirty-second timeout, all said and done. So after this second period, the teams will head to the dressing rooms as they'll flood the ice and get ready for the final 15 minutes of the regular of the season. LJR sending it around the far side, and they'll get it out into the neutral zone and nearly caught Janelle Bear away. And actually, Bear is in on a breakaway. Bear in shot and a great save. LJR. Playing it down back in behind the Saints goal and a glorious opportunity there for Janelle Hubert. Through the neutral zone, it was LeBlanc has it poked off her stick. Here's an opportunity for Beal. She can't get away with it. And St. Max will skate back the other way into the neutral zone. It is LJR wrapping the puck around onto the near side. Here's Hatfield. Hatfield fanned on her shot. Plays it back to the top of the circle. Puck's bouncing around down there. And LJR will come up with it and just barely get it across. Out in a neutral ice. St. Max will dump it in. And LJR will pick it up and they'll fire it all the way down the ice. 15 seconds to go now. In the penalty. To Camille Bork. Anna Hoyt lost control of it just outside her line. Burton on the near side plays it over onto the far side into LJR territory. This is McDade playing, playing it down along the far wall. Pass out in front of the net. Goes off a couple of sticks and comes over to the near side. Playing it off the wall now. There's a long lead pass that was intended for Janelle Hebert. Hebert picks it up out in front of the goal. There's an opportunity shot. Scores! Abigail Metcalf ties the game for LJR. 6.45 to go in the second period. During the intermission, I'll have to run down and see if I can get the updated scores. Having a hard time hearing the uh, the PA announcer here at the Uniplex. Music comes in clear, but when it comes in comes to the announcer, it's a little muffled. So all tied up at one. Here's St. Max in over the line. That shot broken up and back the other way comes LJR. Pass over onto the far side. Janik Dupree into the goal and into. St. Max territory has it poked off her stick, and that'll be Janny Bork dumping it back into St. Max territory. 6.15 to go. Here's an opportunity. Dupuis chasing it down on the far side. Little incidental, incidental collision, and it almost looked like Dupuis just kind of pushed her over the St. Max defender down there. Here's an opportunity now. Once again, Dupree on the near side. She tried to pass it out front. Still has comes back to the point. 
Here's a shot from Boisvert, sails wide of the goal. Bork trying to get her get that pass towards the front of the goal, but that was broken up and back the other way. Now comes LeBlanc for St. Malachy's. LeBlanc has it poked off her stick just inside the LJR line. And the Patriot back the other way, but almost a two-on-one shaping up. But here is Bork on the backhand, has it poked off her stick. Bolvert trying to step up. She gets a shot off puck, bouncing around, and it hops over the stick of Cami Bork over on the far side. A near glorious opportunity there for LJR to go ahead. Here's LeBlanc now for St. Malachy's. St. Max. LeBlanc made one too many moves at the line there. Kate LeBlanc, excuse me, making one too many not moves at the line and putting her winger offside. So we're all tied up at one here with 5-11 to go here in the middle frame. If this score holds up, it could make up to be an interesting third period here in the AAA girls final here for the NBIAA title. Morrissey will play it over to her defense partner. Alexi Lamberton, she'll play it down into St. Max territory and the Saints will clear it back out into the neutral zone and momentarily back into St. Max territory. The Saints will dump the puck in, change up a couple of the forwards. LJR will play it over onto the near side. Turns it over just at the Patriots line. Here's Cartwright now for St. Max, trying to work her way towards the front of the goal, broken up. Anna Hoyt now for St. Max into the high slot area. There's a pass from Lacey Campbell down into the near corner. St. Max trying to play it out in front of the goal. Puck will play, come back to the line, kept in on the near side. Momentarily very close to being offside there. Here's Hoyt in the near corner for St. Max, throwing it out in front of the goal. Nobody there. LJR, Jenny Bork will just poke it down into St. Max territory, and that'll allow LJR to make the change. Four minutes to go here in the second period. Still tied up at one. Shots on goal, 10 to seven now, favoring LJR. There's a pass out in front of the net, and very nicely broken up there by LJR. Here's an opportunity pass across to Beal in the high slot. She has it poked away just at the very last second. Jeanne Lebert in behind the Saints goal, playing it out in front of the goal. And the Saints goaltender seemingly wanting to slow things down will pounce on it and hold on. St. Malachy scoring early in the first period to take the one nothing lead. LJR tying the game up moments ago. And that's where we stand. LJR now will start out with it just inside their line, playing it back into St. Max territory. Here's McDade now for St. Malachy. He's in over the line. Pass into the high slot. There's a shot that just sails wide of the goal. Puck bouncing around, comes to the high slot area. St. Max trying to get a shot off. And Broken up nicely there by LJR in the high slot area. St. Max will just play it down inside of LJR territory. Now starting out is Jenny Bork for LJR. Bork plays it over to Hebert. Hebert over onto the far side for Cami Bork. And Bork loses control of it and St. Max will come up with it. But they'll turn it over in the neutral zone. And... Once again, LJR plays it inside the line, but once again played right back the other way. Here's Nordstrom. She'll take a shot and just fire it wide of the goal. Julie Bork plays it around onto the near side. A little bit of an incidental contact. And I do believe that's the boys LJR team up in the top row in the rafters at the far end as the puck comes out in front of the goal. And once uh, the St. Malachy Saints player went down, that got drew a bit of a rouse out of them. Back the other way now is LJR. This is Miriam Risha. She'll turn it over, and I do believe there's a penalty here coming up to St. Max. I do believe it is, and it looks like it is a checking to the head 
penalty. And so late in the second period, LJR with a glorious opportunity here to take the lead going into the dressing room after 40 minutes of play. And that'll be Laura Cartwright sitting in the sin bin for two minutes or less. First power play opportunity of the afternoon for LJR. St. Malachy's trying to clear it out, kept in at the line. Here's a bear, plays it back to Boisvert. And there's an errant pass, comes all the way over onto the near side, and that'll be picked up by Anna Hoyt, who'll dump it down into LJR territory, and another delayed penalty. And it looks like there's a checking from behind penalty, I do believe. And so that'll negate the LJR power play. With a minute 24 to go here in period number two, still tied up at one. So again, it'll be four on four for the next minute and 39. And if my calculations are correct, it'll be a 19 second power play to start the third period for St. Malachy's. Oh, correction, it wasn't a checking from behind, it was a bench minor for too many men, or women on the ice, excuse me. Back the other way, St. Max in over the line. Here's an opportunity pass out in front of the net. Comes all the way back to the point, there's a shot from Hadfield. It's turned aside, rebound comes all the way out, and that'll allow the LJR Patriots to pick it up and fire it down the ice. And so with that, 40 seconds to go here in the second period, and Boisvert will pick it up, she'll gain the red line and dump it down into St. Max territory, way down in deep there is Jeannick Dupuis. She turns it over, however, and St. Max will get it back out into the neutral zone and it'll be dumped back in by Miriam Richard. So again, 20 seconds to go now. Four on four hockey, and that'll end the second period. Anna Hoyt in over the line. Hoyt on the backhand, trying to find a lane to get it out in front of the net. She hit a rut and fell down. Puck was underneath of her. Play still continues, and LJR will pick it up, and they'll just clear it out into the neutral zone, and that'll bring to an end a very entertaining second period here at the Uniplex in Dieppe, New Brunswick. Your score after two periods of play is 1-1. So again, when we come back for the third period, the teams are going to head to the dressing room for a quick, uh, for a quick flood. And we'll have uh, 15 seconds of four-on-four -four hockey. <coughs> Excuse me. And we'll have... Uh, St. Max will go to the power play for roughly about uh, 12 seconds or so, 15, 17 seconds, give or take. So, two periods in the book here at the Uniplex in Dieppe, New Brunswick. It is the AAA Girls Provincial High School Hockey Championship. And it is one to one after two periods of play. We'll be back in a little bit with the third period.
And welcome back inside the Uniplex Center in Dieppe, New Brunswick. It is the AAA Girls NBIAA Provincial Hockey Championship game between the LJR Patriots and the St. Malachi Saints. Two periods are in the book, and score is tied at one. Shots on goal after two periods, 11-7, favoring LJR. Teams are going to start out four aside for the next 12 seconds. And then stepping back out onto the ice will be Laura Cartwright. And St. Max will enjoy a brief, and I mean brief, power play. Third period underway. Of course, first stoppage in play. We'll get back to the scoring summary as well. Here's an opportunity down deep. There's a bear with a shot right on, and that slides into the glove of Emily Esty. So uh, a little bit earlier, I apologize if I got some names and numbers wrong. Uh, had some different uh, names and numbers from the lineup card that was given to us up here in the broadcast booth. LJR off the draw, and there's a shot right on, and Beal with the save, or excuse me, uh, Emily Esty with the save once again. St. Malachy's took the lead at 3.47 in the first period. Kristen Alderman, an unassisted goal. There's a shot by Bork from LJR, knocked down. And LJR keeping it in at the line, and they'll fire it back down into the far side as the teams are now back to five aside. Beals, she'll fire it right on. And SD with the save for St. Max. St. Malachy's down in their near... In the near corner, trying to play it up, goes off a skate. And there's a clearing attempt, and losing an edge at the line was Bork. Almost temporarily kept it in, but St. Max will send it down into LJR territory. The Patriots unable to get it out at the line. There's a shot that'll go off a ska skate, excuse me, and go wide of the goal. Beal with it down in the far corner. She'll play it right in front of the goal, and LJR will get it out into neutral ice. Miriam Rishal chipping it down into the far corner for herself. Pinning it against the wall. The rest of her line mates are off on a change. Puck bounces up into the air and almost came back down onto the stick of Abigail Metcalf. But it's the Saints back the other way. In over the line, Emily Burton. She'll fire it right through the crease. Kept in at the line there by St. Max. Metcalf can't get it out at the line. Puck bouncing around through the slot area. It'll come back over onto the near side in LJR territory. There's a shot from the Saints. It'll get blocked into the high slot area, and another shot goes off a skate and into the near corner. Two minutes have gone here in the third period. Again, this is the third of three 15-minute periods. Jenny Bort will wrap it around the near side. Kept in at the line there by Burton. She'll fire it in wide of the LJR goal. Puck goes off a of skate and finally it'll come out into neutral ice. LJR making some changes. In the neutral zone now with it is Danica Duada. She'll dump it down into St. Max territory. Delayed offside, however. As the puck came out and right back in now. Here's Bork. Bork is in with a shot. Scores! What a shot by Cammie Bork going crossbar and down. Burying the biscuit. In the top shelf and LJR now has a 2 to nothing lead. Shades of myself in my days when I played. And a few people here that actually that, that know me are turning around chuckling at me after that one. Yeah. 
So Jenny Bork. Cammy Bork, excuse me. Unassisted at 252. Giving the Patriot a two to one lead. Here's Lamberton. Her shot goes off a leg, bounces out into the neutral zone, and it'll get fired back into St. Max territory by Valerie Boisvert. St. Max now through the neutral zone in over the line. And Puck is knocked off a stick or two and will come back out into neutral ice. Puck gets dumped back in, delayed offside. St. Max making some wholesale changes. Abigail Metcalf forwarding the puck to Miriam Richard. Has it poked off her stick but kept in at the line there nicely by Valerie Boisvert. St. Max now will start up down the right side. They'll play a little chip and go after it. But a nice job there by Boisvert to come across and knock it back into neutral ice. Back the other way now is St. Max. I do believe that was Emily Burton who had the puck knocked off her state, uh, stick. Anna Hoyt for St. Max down in the far corner. F passes it out into the slot area and that was broken up. And back the other way now comes Lexi Bork. She'll just play it down into St. Max territory but on the wrong side of the red line so that'll result in an icing call. And 10 minutes, 12 seconds to go here in the third period. So again, quick look at the scoring summary. It was St. Max opening the scoring. Kristen Alderman at 3.47 of the first period. An unassisted goal on a very weird scramble play at the side of the LJR net. LJR tied the game back up at 8.15. It was Abigail Metcalf assist going to Janelle Hebert. That tied the game up at one and 2.52 into the third period. It was Cammie Bork going crossbar and down to give LJR a 2-1 lead. 9.45 to go here in the third period. Pass back to the point. Here's an opportunity. There's a shot right on and a nice save there on the blocker by Emily Esty. She'll grab onto it and hang on. That shot coming off the stick of Danica Dueron, who is actually wearing number five tonight, or this afternoon, for LJR. Face off to the right of the Saints goal. And it's a draw one by LJR. Ashley. Morrissey plays it down around the boards. Puck comes back all the way to the point. Lamberton, she tried to get it back in deep, knocked down, and the Saints will get it out into neutral ice. Morrissey on the far side for LJR, trying to play it forward. Pounced on by two Saints. Finally, LJR will pick it up, and they'll get it down deep into St. Maliki's territory. Nine minutes to go here in the third period. It's a 2-1 LJR lead. Puck down in deep in the LJR territory. Pass out in front of the goal. Goes right through the crease. Nobody there for St. Max. Esty at the near point. Keeps it in momentarily. Comes back to the line and just barely gets across. And Esty will dump it back in. Ashley Morrissey. Morrissey will play it all the way down the ice. And this will result in an icing call with 8.35 to go in period number three. Again, this is the championship game of the AAA girls. Provincial high school hockey. Final game of the season for these two clubs. LJR so far with a 2-1 to one lead. Down on the far side, LJR will play it down into St. Max territory. Is not going to have enough to make it down for an icing call. Here's Cartwright on the left side for St. Max. Plays it through the neutral zone. Broken up there nicely by Boisvert. And she'll just play it right back in on the St. Max goal. Puck kept in at the near line here. Bork just barely keeping it in. Walking that tightrope. Bork sends a shot, goes off a hand. 
in behind the St. Max goal. Bork just swats at it with one hand, keeps it in at the line for LJR. There's Jean Bear in behind the goal, wrapping it around, and that was goes off a couple of sticks and back into the corner. Here's Bork once again. Bork shot, and that'll sail wide of the far right post. Beal over on the far side, trying to play it towards the front of the goal. That pass was broken up. And St. Max on the near side. Now this will be Cartwright. Her pass goes off a skate and goes back down below the goal line. Back to the line, kept in once again by Bork. There's a shot. That just sailed wide of the goal of Emily Esty. Had some traffic in front of her. St. Max will pick it up and fire it down the ice. Is this going to have enough? No, it will not go down for icing. St. Max on the forecheck, trying to play it out in front. Pass bouncing around out in front. Broken up there by LJR. And LJR will once again play it down into St. Max territory. Goes off the skate of Martin for LJR, so it won't be an icing call. Along the far side. Back behind the St. Max goal. They'll just play it up onto the near side now. Puck bouncing around. LJR keeping it in momentarily. Metcalf tried to play it for Bort. Metcalf once again. Another bouncing puck ended up right on her stick and rolled right in onto the goal of Emily Esty. And Emily Esty decided to slow things down. And we have another stoppage in play. 6.25 to go now here in the third period. Again, 18 to 8 now. The shots on goal for. LJR. Martin has it knocked off her stick in the neutral zone. LJR will pick it up. This is Olivia Bork across the line. She'll dump it in wide of the Saints goal. Back on the far side for St. Max. It's Anna Hoyt. She can't clear it out. Kept in. Bork in the high slot has it knocked off her stick. And St. Max will start back the other way. That was Allison LeBlanc dumping it in. That took a weird bounce off the backboards and rested on the back of the net for a moment in behind the LJR goal. Here's LeBlanc once again trying to get a shot off. Goes off a stick and wide. Five and a half minutes to go here in the third period. LJR with the 2-1 lead here in the championship game. Here's Bork. Janny Bork in over the line, trying to get a shot off. It goes off a skate into the near corner. Bork will play it back behind the, Saint, the Saints net. Puck loose. Opportunity for LJR. Bork has it knocked off her stick and back the other way now is Laura Cartwright. She'll dump it in wide of the goal. Zola LeBlanc will kick it over into the corner. St. Max still with it, however, along the far wall. There's a shot that doesn't make its way through. Ashley Morrissey trying to play it up the near side, broken up. As now there's a pile up along the wall, comes out for St. Max. There's a shot right on, it goes off a couple of skates on the way through to Zola Blau. Had to be sharp on that one because lots of traffic and lots of redirection on the way through. And she managed to track that and hang on. Off the draw, St. Max with a shot right on, and again, another save there by Zola LeBlanc. So a couple of opportunities for St. Max in the last few seconds or so. Faceoff will be to the left of the LJR goal. Here's Metcalf. Metcalf trying to get away. Throw the neutral zone in over the Saints line. Metcalf towards the front of the goal. That pass broken up. And St. Max will start back the other way now. As LJR will break up that rush in the neutral zone. Nordstrom will just play it inside this LJR line and the Patriots will pick it up and fire it down the ice. And this will be another icing call here with 4.06 to go now. Here in the third period. Oh. 
Here's Beal now for LJR. Wraps it up and back through the neutral zone. This is Janelle Lebert. Has it poked off her stick at the line. And St. Max will come back the other way. In over the line. Puck bouncing around in the neutral in the high slot area. Cartwright now for St. Max. Cartwright trying to play it out in front of the goal. Puck bouncing around and gets swatted wide of the goal. St. Max trying to play it back out in front. It's actually bouncing off the back of the net. Finally, LJR is able to pick it up. Beal will skate it back behind her own goal to try to release some pressure, and then she'll reverse the flow, but wraps it up the wall, and it's going to be kept in at the line there by St. Max. Opportunity now for LJR to get it out, kept in at the line. Here's an opportunity now for Taylor Beal in on the breakaway. Beal lost control of it, and in frustration, chopped it back to the line. Nobody there for LJR. Comes all the way back out into the neutral zone. And so a potential break there for St. Malachy's. Lamberton for LJR over on the far side. In there battling with two Saints. And it looks like that the rugby scrum is finally going to be won there by LJR and a big hit in the high slot area. Incidental contact, but wow. Icing called here on LJR. 2.23 to go now. In the third period, 2-1. LJR leading. Faceoff will be to the right of Zola Blanc. LJR will wrap the puck around the far side. St. Max comes up with it, trying to throw it towards the front of the goal. Goes off a stick and in behind the Patriots goal. Valerie Boisvert playing it up along the far side. And the puck will get chipped off the wall and back out in a neutral ice. Puck bouncing around. Here's an opportunity once again for LJR, but it was offside at the Saints line. And it was a potential 2-on-0 shaping up there. Once again, it was Janelle Bear who had the opportunity there. 119 seconds to go in the third period. Actually, correction, yeah, 120. Or 119 at the time. Sorry, I thought my math was a little off here. LJR dumping it back into St. Max territory. LJR going to try and kill the clock off, and I think we'll start. We'll see Emily Esty make her way to the bench here for the extra attacker in a few moments. Uh, one would suspect. Here's an opportunity now for St. Max, keeping it down in deep. And again, another pile up along the boards and the puck comes loose and it's LJR coming up with it. LJR unable to get it out at the line and it'll be another opportunity for LJR. And then it's Cammy Bork chopping it off the wall, at least getting it out into neutral ice. St. Max trying to dump it back in deep, unable to. We're under a minute to go now here in the third period. Again, LJR with a 2-1 lead in the championship game as Lamberton once again will dump it back into St. Max territory. LJR doing a nice job on the forecheck, not allowing St. Max to make their way out of the zone. 35 seconds to go now. Once again, a nice job there by LJR, just keeping the puck along the boards, killing off some time. Lamberton doing the, night, the smart play, playing it back behind the goal. LJR trying to get it back out in front with 20 seconds to go now. One final rush here for St. Max, it looks like, here at this point. Through the neutral zone, in over the line. There's a shot. Goes wide of the goal. Nice job there and smart play by Zola LeBlanc, not pouncing on it. LeBlanc with a shot. Extra attackers on the ice as the clock winds down. Right on, and LeBlanc grabs onto it and hangs on. The tie runs out, and the LJR Patriots are the 2022. Triple-A Girls High School Hockey Provincial Champions.
Now there's some conversation going on here because I'm not sure if the whistle went off and if this game is actually over or not. And something's going on here where the whistle went. There's one second from what I'm seeing from the referees here. One second left on the clock. Or they're going to put one second back because the whistle blew right at the very last second. And so this game is not officially over yet. And correction, there's not one second, there's two seconds now back on the clock. So it'll be an empty net for St. Max. The extra attacker will be on the, on the ice. There is going to be some, an opportunity here. 2.5 seconds now. And so St. Max is going to take a 30-second timeout. So certainly... Something interesting here. You might see a left-hand shot on the face-off for St. Max. And Puck's going to hit the ice, and they're going to try and slam it towards the goal and hopefully get some bodies crashing towards the net and try to tie this thing up. 2.5 seconds to go. I have seen it done. And so here we go. Draw must be won by St. Max in order for this to work. Puck hits the ice and it's picked up by LJR. Now it is official. Now I can actually say the 2022 AAA Girls High School Hockey Champions is the Patriot de l'Ecole Louis G. Robichaud out of Shediac, New Brunswick. The final score here this afternoon is two to one. Final shots on goal, 18, 11 favoring LJR. Gonna go back and take a quick look, however, at the scoring summary and how we got to this 2-1 final. St. Malachy's Saints got on the scoreboard at 3.47 of the first period, Kristen Alderman picked up a bouncing puck that was to the right of Zola LeBlanc, managed to squeak it past the blocker to give the Saints a 1-0 lead. LJR would tie the game at 8.15 of the second period, and it was Abigail Metcalf with assist going to Janelle Hebert. Again, that was at 8.15 and it made it 1-1 after two periods of play. At the 2.52 mark, Cami Bork would score the eventual game winner for LJR as she picked up the puck and fired it off the crossbar and in to beat goaltender Emily Esty of the St. Malachy Saints to give LJR the 2-1 lead and would not look back and that was what your final is here this afternoon at the Uniplex in Dieppe, New Brunswick. So now we're going to stick around for the silver medal presentation. Well, first up was Emily Burton. This is Jenna Gorman picking up her silver medal. Abby Esty. Macy Hatfield, number two. Allison LeBlanc. 
number six. Number six, Alexa, I know I'm going to mess this up, Jagordis. There we go. should know that. The Jagordis family, very prominent in the province with a couple of excellent restaurants. Kristen Alderman. Laura Nordstrom before her. Katrina Martin, number 19. Emma Kelter, number 8. And Kate LeBlanc, the captain, number 18. Layla Amiro, number 17. Michaela McDade, number 7. And Lacey Campbell, number 4. Emily Esty, the starting goaltender. For St. Malachy's, solid performance, turning aside 16 shots here this afternoon. Gabriel Bifakadu. Anna Hoyt, number three. The head coach of the St. Malachy Saints, Natalie Duplessis. Robbie Richard, the assistant coach. Chris Martin, Chris Martin and Roz Richard. The runners up here this afternoon, putting on a valiant effort over the weekend, making it all the way to the championship Sunday, championship game. And now time for the champions of the AAA Girls High School Provincial title. The LJR Patriots starting with number two, Julie Book. Number four, Alexis, Alexi Lamberton. Valerie Boisvert, number six. Olivia Book, number seven. Number eight, Mariam Richard. Janik Dupuis, number nine. Janik Book wearing number ten. Number 11, Lexi Book. Abigail Metcalf, who got LJR on the board. Next up, Cammy Bork, number 14, who scored the game winner for LJR. Janelle Lebar, the captain, number 15. Ashley Morrissey, number 18 for Algier up next. Number 19, Jeannie Book. Number 21, Taylor Beal. Kayla Canal, number one. 
Danny Cadwara, number five. And number 33, Zoe Leblanc, with 10 saves in the win. Samuel Richard, Stéphane Bork, Stéphanie Chevary, and André Leblanc. Lodi Bovard, Dale Lamberton, the coaching staff of the championship team, the LJR Patriots. So now it's time for the banner presentation. The captains and the, the captain and the assistant captains making their way into the banner presentation and. And there it is, folks, your 2022 AAA Girls High School Hockey Provincial Champions, the LJR Patriots, again after a 2-1 win over the St. Malachy's Saints out of St. John, New Brunswick. And so with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a, uh, a brief time out here, about a half hour or so. We've got the boys AAA high school provincial championship game coming up at about 5.30. And that'll be coming up here, again, from the Uniplex in Dieppe, New Brunswick. I'm Jeff Robichaud. Thanks for listening, and we'll check in, and hopefully you'll check back in in about a half hour's time.